it is Iowa Penn State. And uh, once again, that's a 3.30 p.m. Eastern kickoff in Happy Valley. Now, the Hawkeyes are minus two on the road. Totals 47 and a hook. The Hawkeyes are on a two-game winning streak, 3-0 against the spread in their last three. They've scored 84 total points in their last two ball games, and they gave up just 14. Now, this Iowa offense is scoring 31 points a game this season, and they're rushing for nearly a buck 85 per contest. Tyler Goodson has rushed it 63 times for 375 yards and five touchdowns. Goodson's averaging six yards per carry. Uh, running back uh, Makai Sargent uh, has also rushed for over 200 yards himself, and he's plunged it into the end zone four times on the ground as well. Sargent is gaining 6.3 yards per carry. Meanwhile, this tough, hard-nosed Iowa defense is allowing only 14 points per contest, and they're also giving up just 201 yards a game through the air. Defensive back Jack Kerner has three interceptions from this Hawkeye secondary, 25 total tackles, and a PBU for Jack. Zach Van Valkenburg also has three and a half sacks from the defensive line, one forced fumble and a fumble recovery for Zach. Riley Moss and Barrington Wade each have a pair of interceptions for the Hawkeyes as well. Iowa has eight total interceptions on the year, along with double-digit takeaways. The Hawkeyes have successfully covered the point spread in seven out of their last ten ball games. Meanwhile, Penn State on the other side is coming off a seven-point loss to Nebraska in their last outing. They gave up, uh, they gave up 30 points to the Cornhuskers, who don't even pass for 200 yards a game. Now, this Penn State defense has given up 30 points or more in all four of their ball games this season. And for those who don't already know, Penn State's 0-4 straight up on the season, failing to cover the point spread in each and every one of those games. Now, Penn State's scoring just 22 points a game in Happy Valley this season, and they're rushing for less than 70 yards per contest at Beaver Stadium. Running back Devin Ford is averaging less than four yards a carry, and he's gaining just 51 yards per game. Meanwhile, the Penn State quarterbacks are completing just 54% of their passes, and they've been sacked 15 times. Not really sure if it's going to be Clifford or Levis. Uh, they've kind of been bouncing those guys back and forth, and uh, both of those guys have looked terrible this year. I know that Levis is completing like 47% of his passes. And, uh, you know, speaking of terrible, this Penn State defense is allowing 37 points a game at home and 300 yards passing in that same category. The Nittany Lions have failed to cover the point spread in their last seven straight at Beaver Stadium. And, of course, that dates back to last season. These guys can't cover the number at home. Now, total-wise, two out of Penn State's last four ball games got over the posted number. Meanwhile, Iowa's third game of the season for them against Michigan State flew over the posted total for that game by double digits. So with all that in mind, give me the Iowa Hawkeyes minus two and the over 47 and a half in that contest. All right, next matchup, it is going to be Wisconsin Northwestern. And this is another kind of marquee game uh, in the Big Ten, actually in the country. And that's going to be a 3.30 p.m. Eastern start at Ryan Field. Wisconsin's minus seven on the road, totals 44. The Badgers are